I'm gonna give you guys an update on my little green spotted puffers. They're doing so well. So I just went out to launch, probably the most classic Wisconsin lunch you can have, which is Culver's. I love Culver's. I also got my little puffer fish their lunch, which are some frozen half-shelled clams. Come on, clam! So first off, I'm rocking the aquarium co-op hoodie. Speaking of aquarium co-op, I talked to Corey, who is the pufferfish guru, and he recommended that I should be looking to upgrade pretty soon, and next week, uh, I actually might be going to get this 50-gallon tank from a guy um, here in Wisconsin. If that doesn't end up working out, then I probably will take two of these guys back and just keep one. But so far, they really haven't been at all territorial in this tank. All three are actually doing really well, but I think the key is if you raise them together, that they won't be so aggressive towards each other concerning the immediate future. I think they could be in here for the next three months, but we'll just see what happens if I can get that bigger tank next week. They honestly are so much fun though. What's up, Kirby? What's up, Furby? What's up, Fergie? I got you got some clams. Ronald, leave him alone. Lately my pufferfish have been kind of scared of my rubber duck Ronald. Guys, come here, team meeting. Kirby, come on man, you too. Get up here. I gotta tell you guys something, okay? We're not supposed to talk about this in front of Ronald, but he's not a real duck. No, he, he's made out of rubber. You need to feed green spotted puffers hard shelled foods, clams, ghost shrimp, snails, mussels. You need to feed them things like that to keep their beaks uh, trimmed. So I'm really excited to start feeding them these guys. I'm actually gonna put a couple in there right now. All right guys, I'm gonna feed you these clams now. There you go, baby. Trim that beak. Trim that beak. There you go. Proud of you guys. All right, I'm just gonna drop it in there. Dang, dude, they really do love these things. God, they just devoured that. I wanted to make a more in-depth care guide video for these fish because I saw a lot of people in my comment section saying, oh, these are the fish I wanna get. I'm gonna get these now. You inspired me to get these fish. And so that's why I like making follow-up videos like this to really explain why it might be a good pet or a bad pet. You can make sure that you actually are gonna be able to care for them. And we avoid people picking these up thinking they're gonna be uh, relatively easy fish to care for. So this video is the truth to keeping green spotted puffer fish. So it's happy, cute, and clueless as these fish look. They're actually very intelligent fish. They do have some special care requirements that you have to know and pay attention to if you want them to live for a long time. First off, green spotted puffer fish are brackish. You have salt water, fresh water, and then brackish is right in the middle. It's not exactly in the middle, it's actually more honestly towards the freshwater spectrum. That's why a lot of fish stores sell these as freshwater fish and keep them in freshwater tanks at their stores. Not. This can be very misleading and if you're keeping green spotted puffer fish, you need to make sure to have some salt in the water. The exact salinity is like right around 1.06 to 1.012. Salt water is 1.025, fresh water is like zero. At any point, you can always check your salinity using a refractometer or something like this, which is a hydrometer. What's so crazy about these fish is that they have care requirements that change as they grow. And as adults, they can live in full on salt water. If you try to keep these alive in only freshwater tanks throughout the whole life, eventually they are gonna get to that point where they need the salt in the water and they're going to die. And trust me guys, you don't wanna kill these fish. They're really cute and you'll feel like an 
asshole. So make sure to go out, get some aquarium salt. If you're a freshwater person, you're new to the whole salt thing, I recommend using Fritz Aquatics, their Reef Pro Mix. It's the blue box, and this is marine salt that you literally just add to your dechlorinated freshwater. And remember, as water evaporates in your tank, the salt doesn't evaporate with it. The salt stays in the tank. So when you're topping off your water, make sure you use fresh water and then that'll balance the salinity back out. All right, so let's talk about the teeth or what is referred to as the beak. The beak is actually these fused front teeth that in the wild they use as a method of like cracking open mollusks and crustaceans. This is how they get a lot of their food. Green spotted puffers love so many different kinds of foods. You can literally feed them almost anything, but you do need to be feeding them every once in a while at least one kind of food and this is shellfish. The puffer fish requires different foods like these because if it doesn't have something hard every once in a while to chomp on, to file down its teeth, those teeth are gonna to continue to grow to the point where literally the puffer fish won't be able to open its mouth anymore, it won't be able to eat, and this can cause the puffer fish to die. Because you always need to get these different kinds of hard shell foods, um, that can make it a little bit harder to find foods and a little bit more expensive, so just know, in terms of food, it does require a little bit more attention than like a normal fish that you could feed flake fish food to and it would just love you forever and never die. Okay, let's talk about coloration of these fish. This can actually tell you a lot about how the fish is doing health-wise, so it's just an important thing to note. So a healthy and normal green spotted puffer has like kind of a greenish body with dark black spots and then it has a very whitish stomach tummy, belly, whatever you want to call it. Belly! Sometimes instead of this creamy white color though as its belly, it can turn to black. Like a chameleon, these puffer fish can actually sort of change their coloration a bit. Sometimes instead of that creamy white color, they'll have an all black belly. Their spots will become a little bit more pale. If your fish has a black belly all the time, then it's most likely sick or stressed out or something like that. But if it's constantly changing back and forth, then you're totally fine and this is a sign of a healthy puffer fish. The green spotted puffer can get up to six inches in length. So if you have a smaller tank like me, once they get bigger, you do have to upgrade. You can't just keep them in this small of a tank for their entire life, that's not okay. As they grow, they 100% need between a 30 or a 50 gallon tank. Puffers do not get along with many other fish. They are quite aggressive, even amongst themselves. They're very territorial. Sometimes some bottom feeders will do okay with them and they'll leave those guys alone. Things that are really low key and just kind of like stay out of the way. My low key. You can get away with. But smaller fish will pretty quickly get eaten by these puffer fish. Nice. So the best option in terms of a tank mate for them is honestly another puffer fish, but that just requires an even larger tank. The reason for the larger tank is that they're very messy eaters. You want to keep an eye on the water quality of the tank because they are such messy and aggressive eaters. There's going to be food flying around the tank all the time. They literally like to like tear into it and just it goes flying everywhere. You need to be on top of your water changes to make sure that you're removing ammonia and waste and pollutants from the water. Also something that can help with these puffers is I use a product again by Fritz Aquatics. It's called Fritz Guard and this is like a dechlorinator but it also adds like this slime coat to the water and the puffers actually really do appreciate having that slime coat. Hey everybody, nice to see you guys. All good Although it's what these fish are famous for, you never want to see your puffer puff up. This is only triggered from extreme stress and usually ends with the fish's death. So be careful when transporting puffers. It's best to move them from place to place by directing them into a bag rather than netting them. Puffer is still under the water. Puffing in the air will almost certainly kill them. Other than that, active green spotted puffers are happy green spotted puffers, generally speaking. So remember, these green spotted puffers, you might have bought them in a freshwater environment, but if you wanna make sure that they live long term, you do need to move them into a saltwater medium. So that makes keeping these fish a little bit trickier than just your regular freshwater or saltwater fish. But if you can hone in on some of these care requirements, they are so much fun to have. They're so much fun to feed. They're usually a favorite among people that come over to my room now and check out all my tanks. I would just recommend you do your research before you buy these fish and you'll be okay. All right guys, that does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm coming out with new videos now every single week. Remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.
What's up, boys? How's it going? Oh, uh, yeah, so... What did the fish say after he posted bail? I'm off the hook! <laughs> <laughs>